So we like to run the lines underneath, although you gotta be careful if you jack the car up that you don't crush your lines, but you don't see it um, from either side. It's a clean look, but we want a brake line down the left rail, down the right rail, bring them together, cross them, and put them into a T right behind the cross member. We bring the line into the uh, brass fitting that has the brake switch, and then we use a uh, proportioning valve. From the proportioning valve, it goes back to the front side of the master cylinder. Again, this one here has a, uh, a booster, it's power brakes. You can see our brake rod comes forward and the brake pedal's on the chassis. Uh, this is a standard setup for a, a Spirit 23. Uh, we also have the same, same setup for the pedal only it's a little different if you don't use a master or a uh, booster. You can use, use a Mustang II master cylinder. This master cylinder happens to be from a Corvette. From the back side of the master cylinder, we come up over, put a T here again, and we run it on the frame, not the rear end. And it's possible to come down with just one fitting, put a T down here and run across the rear end to do the other side. But what we like to do is run it down a braided steel line, an AN uh, fitting coming down, and then it goes into your caliper. So this is what a completed set looks like.